According to the popular political blog The Politicker, Governor Camacho is defending Governor Palin against critics who are questioning the underage pregnancy of her daughter. Camacho told an Oregon delegation that he sympathized with the Alaskan governor's family because his own went through a similar situation. Camacho sharing his daughter's young childbirth with the group and said he was appalled with the attacks on Palin's family. Back on the floor, Palin addressed Republicans at the party's national convention in the biggest speech of her career. She touched on her family and made the case that she is ready to be the first female vice president. Guam Representative Maria Connolly thought she hit it out of the park. I'm glad how she delivered her speech and, and the way she portrayed herself as far as the uh, beginning, of, you know, about her growing up and her parents from, uh, you know, a small town and her abortion of 20 years, married and now five children. But it was really important for her to uh, tell the people, not the people in the convention hall here, but, the, but all the listeners, the, the people watching TV, to tell the people about Sarah Palin. Connolly says that Camacho has made several stump speeches, reportedly expressing confidence in Senator John McCain's pick for VP, saying the ticket will transform the nation. And she adds as a result of the governor's efforts, Guam has gained some international media attention. Governor Camacho was interviewed on TV uh, earlier this evening by New Zealand. And, uh, so the network, uh, TV network from New Zealand, BBC from uh, Europe, London, right? And even the TV network from Iraq, they're here. So uh, there's been a lot. The titular party head is representing over 900,000 Pacific Islanders as the head of Pacific Territories for the campaign. Filian Guerrero, Pacific News Center.